You'll notice that from time to time, men make evil through law. And that's what's happened here. Your mayor, the civil authorities here are joining with evil. And those of you who are lesser magistrates, you carry the guns. You're not just mere robots for the state. You have to answer to God also for what you do. So when they do something contrary to his law and word, your duty is not to obey them, but to tell them no. It's called the interposition of the lesser magistrate. Extremely important to understand it. Romans 13, again, for those of you officers who just arrived, makes it clear that your duty is to punish the evildoers. That would be the people over there that are sexualizing children. And your duty is to reward those who do good. That would be the people you've arrested. So you've totally perverted your God-given function and role, turned it on its head. And we wonder how did evil get a foothold in Germany, in the Soviet Union? It was because of the blithe compliance of all the authorities that one after another down the food chain said, yeah, I'm gonna look out for myself rather than do what's right and say, no, this is wrong. And this is wrong. What they're doing here is evil. This would, are you kidding me? Do you see what's going on up in that stage? Do you see they're normalizing this to the minds of the children? When you're older, these are the kids, they'll be the people who decide whether you live or die when you're elderly. This is what they're training them in. So you have to make a decision to either go along to get along or to at some point make a stand. Like, at the very least, you shouldn't be arresting the good guys and letting the bad guys have free reign. Your duty is to arrest the bad guys. There is an ordinance right here in town regarding instructing children in sexual matters. What do you think that's all about? They're instructing children in sexual matters. You could arrest them, but you chose not to. You chose to arrest the Christians who are simply out here praying and offering literature to people. Wow. Yeah. I, I wonder, did anyone say anything to you after the camera stopped? I mean, was that falling on deaf ears or did you sense that some of them were under conviction? I sense that some of them were under conviction. Um, you know, you can sense that when you're speaking, mm -hmm. like some of them put their arms like this and were very quiet. Yeah, some of their body that, language, some of their body language told me they were they were convicted. The one guy that had the beard that's kind of pacing around. I thought I saw him smirk a couple times, but the other guys to the left, I think you had their attention. Yes. Yeah, no, it was good, Brandon. And um, we view it as important to teach this doctrine, um, the doctrine of lesser magistrate, to the civil authorities. So they understand, like I said in the video, you're not a simply a robot for the state. Um, ethics matter. Answering to God matters.